Hello it's Salimic, in today's video we will be fixing a common problem which you can find in most cars and the problem is finding oil in this vacuum line which is located between the PCV valve and the intake manifold and the best solution for this problem is to install oil catch can like this here is the oil catch can itself, it's a used one but in a pretty good condition and we are gonna need a teflon for these fittings, they have to be 100% sealed and we have the bottom drain bolt so we will need the teflon for this one as well we also gonna need about 1 meter of hose with 12 millimeter inner diameter that fits on the old catch can with the installation like this you will need the common hand tools like this and also i have a drill here with 6 millimeter drill bit so i can make this bracket hole bigger so i can use 10 millimeter bolt for fastening old catch can somewhere in the engine bay I have installed the same oil catch can on my other two cars and they've been working very good for catching all this oil vapor from entering the combustion chamber. It will keep the intake valves and the piston head from carbon build up. Therefore the engine will stay on good fuel efficiency and the same power. On 2019 Nissan Kicks, this is the hose that sends oil vapor into the combustion chamber. So we have to install oil catch can between these two points. So we will remove this hose and extend the hose to here. Then we can install the oil catch can here. It has to be a cold place around the engine. So the oil vapor condensates and sits at the bottom of the can. And then the return hose will goes back to intake manifold. Alright, let's start putting Teflon tape on these fittings. Here is the first one. And here is the other one. Make sure the fitting is not blocked by the Teflon tape and cleaned out just like this. And then we're gonna put it back. Next, tighten it up with 70mm wrench. And let's not forget the bottom drain bolt. The reason I'm putting Teflon tape on these fittings and the drain bolt, it has to be completely sealed. Because it's on a vacuum line, any leaking from these fittings and the drain bolt, it will change engine's idling at low RPM. And you will feel the change that the engine's RPM goes up and down. So the inlet for oil catch can it will be here after passing PCV valve. It will strain the oil vapor from oil drops and keep it underneath. And then it will filter the oil vapor and then comes out from here. After the oil catch can it will goes back to intake manifold. So the inlet will be on this side. And this one will be the outlet. We also have this sliding so we can twist it and have better angle with the hoses. Let's make this hole bigger with the drill bit and I will straighten this up because of the location where I install it. I think the best place to install oil catch can on 2019 Nissan Kicks is here. We just gonna have to remove this plastic clip and install it here. Let's remove the plastic clip. We will use a 10mm bolt and bolt it over there. It's a very good place away from the engine heat. Now we will need to connect the hoses to the PCV and intake manifold. I will loosen these bolts and twist it so I can have better curves with the hoses. It's way better like this, let's tighten them up. It's always a great idea to remove the bottom pan so you can see which one is the inlet and the outlet. So from the PCV valve goes here, we can see for the inlet there is only a hole and then it will pass by the filter and goes back to the intake manifold. Alright, let's remove this hose. We can see there was an oil that entered intake manifold and we have some oil on the PCV valve as well. So it's a good time to remove the PCV valve and clean it before installing the oil catch can. We just need to spray carb cleaner and then put it back. Be careful when you're tightening up, it's plastic otherwise you will damage it. Next I will put some WD-40 on the fittings and then insert the hoses. After inserting the hose on the fitting, then I will mark it how much I want and then I will cut it. Just make sure you have a nice smooth curve. And I will use the original clamps from the stock hose. You can use hose clamp for the old catch can side as well, but because of the fitting and the hose size, it was a tight fit, that's why I didn't use it. Alright, here's the last hose, we're gonna cut it and it goes back to the intake manifold. Let's put the clamp on and put it on. And the last thing we have the cup we gonna put it on and make sure it's tight otherwise it will leak air and affect the idling. So here is it. It comes out from PCV valve goes to the oil catch can filters out and then goes back to the intake manifold. Let's turn the engine on and check it out. It's important to check the hoses and move it around in case of there's any leak. But we are good and we will check it out in the next engine oil change. Alright, it's after 5000 kilometers and it's time for engine oil change. 
Let's check the oil catch can and see how much oil is being collected. And here is that much oil being collected from entering the intake manifold. If you don't catch that much oil with oil catch can, all these oil will be burned on the intake valves and piston head. The amount of collected oil will change depends on the quality of oil and some car's engine type. Some has more oil vapor than the other, but installing the oil catch can will be the best option. With each oil change, we're just gonna have to clean this and we can use carb cleaner and wipe probe and then put it back. And that is how to install oil catch can on your car's engine and eliminate entering oil vapor into the combustion chamber. I will make sure to put some links in the video description box below, the same oil catch can I used in this video. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.